so I always had a passion for this because I knew this is, and working in the corporate doing this, I realized there definitely is a need for this. Um, I just didn't know when and how. And I got to a point where I decided, okay, well, maybe I need to jump ship and maybe I need to do the now, you know. And I started to do, you know, with your clients, you build up, you started to do product training because you know the product and you started to work and you approach the CETAs, the Mercy CETA, and you got the accreditation and you started to go to the company and say, listen, not only now are you doing just a training, you're also doing training that's based on the qualification. And I sort of realized I need to grow this and, you know, because the only way you're going to get a full-time academy is to get somebody to buy into it. And um, I approached um, Electromechanica and they said, we want to talk to you. And I thought, oh, that. I just mentioned on the phone, they said we want to talk to you. So they already had an idea in their minds. They just needed somebody to say, this is my thought. Mm. And when I came there and I explained to them what I want to do, it was really, a, it was a dream come true. Mm. This is one of those things where you say, when all this happened to me, well, this is what happened to me. And they sat back and they said, you know what, we need this because we've got product we've got automation, we're in the fourth industrial revolution space, we need to be able to take this on. Because we also find that we're not getting the quality of, of technicians and engineers and technologies that we need, but by doing it this way, we're supporting youth development, as well as supporting a qualification that's relevant, as well as supporting um, you know, the development within this space of, of technology. And that's actually how it all came. So there's a good story behind it. You know, behind this whole establishment of why this sort of started. Mm. And how significant has the CETA accreditation been for the academy? It's been it's been very significant. Look, you've got to register as a private institution anyway, um, but the CETA allows you to work with um, uh, um, um, programs that are industry related with qualifications that are. And remember, this is the emphasis with this qualification. It's an industry related qualification. And you need to have the CETA there because what they also do is they come in and they ensure that your quality processes are in place. They also ensure that you are working according to assessed guidelines and they're also there to support you. They're actually there a lot to support you. You know, you always think they're not, but they're just there to point out what you're doing wrong. They're actually not. They're there to support you to see that you actually get through because their function is to educate the youth, mm. particularly in in in, in um in industry related qualification, that's the that's the purpose. Mm. So th it's very important that you have a very good relationship and that you do have your credentials in place with accreditation. Mm -hmm. So it's becoming more and more important to actually, um, you know, for students and for employ em employees to actually participate and be actively involved in programs like this mm. because it assists them personally as well to develop their careers. Mm. And. Who's the academy's training specifically geared towards and in what ways is it able to facilitate um, entry to long-term careers? So we, we look at it's specialised but we've we've topped it down and we've decided we're going to work with entry level first and that's why we started very basic. So the entry level is matriculants. Um, initially we said listen we're going to open up to technical matrix, academic matrix, obviously they have to have maths and we maths and, and the technical drawing we've opened it up to in six people that are coming up with in six certificate diploma and um, people that might have hands on but they don't necessarily have a qualification so it's within the engineering space you know and what kind of collaboration has the academy had or is hoping to have with government in supporting development the development of skills in south africa okay so the first collaboration obviously is with the CETA, so it's the government so so we've got that in place with them obviously we're looking to collaborate a lot more with universities um, um, some being in South Africa and some also being abroad. Mm -hmm. So our focus is to, to bring those collaborations in and the idea is to bring it in so that the students can interact a lot more with different um, sectors. So you have the academic, although you're doing a industry related program. The new generation Delta M300 compact drive offers outstanding features and capabilities